Hey guys, this is Craig Harris, and normally I'm the guy that handles all the Nintendo DS and Game Boy coverage on IGN, but today I'm here to give you the final word on Excite Truck for the Nintendo Wii. The name Excite Truck might sound familiar to anyone who's played a Nintendo system in the past, and that's because uh, you know it's lifting its namesake from a classic Nintendo game called Excite Bike. Excite Bike was all about using your turbo to take air off jumps, adjusting your bike in midair landing without losing your speed and that's really the case with Excite Truck. It's a it's a launch title um, so it suffers from you know launch titleitis. It's lacking a few uh, elements that uh, fleshed out games usually have but uh, for what it is a first generation game it's a really good racing game. You take the Wii remote and you tip it on its side and you hold it like an NES controller. Uh, you tilt it left and right to control your vehicle left or right on the track when it's in the air you want to tip your vehicle forward and backward by tilting the controller forward and backwards. Like like any racing game, the idea is to come in first, but uh, there's the added incentive in Excite Truck to earn points by doing specific things on the track. You can take out your opponents by uh, driving into them. You can drift around turns. Uh, you can perform tricks in the air. And the more intense these moves uh, are, the more points you get. There's a trick system in Ex Excite Truck where you can uh, perform spins in midair by whipping the controller left and right after a jump, but it seems really kind of tacked on. It's necessary to win the race with these tricks because they score you points, but it just doesn't feel natural when you're playing it. One of the coolest elements of Excite Truck is the, the deforming terrain um, as you're driving. When you pick up icons that are scattered around the, the track, uh, it'll actually cause the land to form mountains and jumps, uh, cause the environments that just collapse on itself and cause mayhem to the other players. The whole changing terrain really kind of gives uh, Excite Truck its own personality. Even though you can blow through the game in a couple hours to get through the normal level progression, it's all about trying to beat each track perfectly, otherwise you will never unlock the harder difficulty level. There are a few added mini-games like a slalom challenge or a jump through rings challenge. Uh, they're cool for what they are, but you know it's not going to extend the, the life of the game beyond a few hours of play. Excite Truck is a first-generation Wii title, so there's not a whole lot to compare it to from the start. But that said, it's a really good-looking game. Uh, it's got a solid frame rate, uh, really nice visual effects going on, like the deforming terrain, uh, lighting effects, t textures, dirt effects, that kind of thing. Sound, however, is not as impressive. Uh, the sound effects are, are, are nice for a racing game, but the music itself really kind of sucks. Thankfully, you can bring in your own soundtrack to the SD slot if you have a lot of MP3s lying around. The multiplayer is definitely the weakest element of uh, Excite Truck. It's only two players, there's no computer opponents, and uh, it's just you and the other person on the track. It's fun for what it is, but honestly, it's not a selling point, and uh, it could have been much more had the developer given much more time with the product. You know, even with the, the downsides, the, the game is a lot of fun to play. It's got a huge amount of energy. It's a great arcade-style racing game that, that shows off what the Wii can do. And if you're a fan of, say, San Francisco Rush or Burnout, you would totally love this game. Check out my full written review on IGN.com.